currently on my way to the renter's house to pick something up that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. But it's something he's been trying to sell for a long time. Thought Greg was going to buy it to use in something weird. Throwing the idea of working on, but he decided not to. And it's just something too good to let go. So what I did was in exchange for next month's rent, this is going to be the rent payment. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but we're on our way to pick it up. So we'll show you guys what it is when I get there. I got her back and again I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy but we're gonna do something with it and what it is is a late 90s early 2000s Suzuki TL 1000R motor that's right a super bike street bike motor so this thing obviously is a v-twin Mechanically, everything here is sound. It came out of a wrecked bike. Of course, the bike was total, but this is the engine out of it. And we have a complete engine. I also have over here pretty much everything we need mechanically to get this to run. Of course, we got the dual radiator here. A bunch of little various pieces in here, including the lights. The, uh, looks like we got the brake calipers in here. We have the exhaust. We do have the complete wiring harness, complete with the gauge. I'm not sure if this works. You can see that is cracked, but if these works, we can still use them for whatever buggy we put them in. We have the complete wiring harness there. Over here, I got the box that has our intake in it. And I'm not kidding. I don't know if this is fuel injected or carbureted. Uh, that looks fuel injected. I don't know much about the bike but yeah yep yep here's our nozzles so this puppy's fuel injected Actually, i don't know much about these bikes but i did look up the specs and this motor was rated for 135 horsepower that's pretty wicked i think it was right around 78 foot pounds of torque so whatever we put this puppy in she is going to be a monster now before you go crazy no it's not going in the x4 it's not going in the 500 yet we're going to keep those stock motor wise is now again i'm going to be turbo in the 500 we'll see how that does but you guys make sure to let me know in the comments below what you want to see this in you want me to maybe buy an old rhino and do a street bike conversion to it do you want me just to buy a go-kart frame or a sand rail frame or something like that to throw this puppy in i'm open for any ideas any suggestions you guys want to see me take on as a project for putting this in Heck, we may even try to shoehorn that guy in the old warrior right there. With the problems I'm having with the motor, although I don't think we'd have room for a V. Nah. Yeah, it take some frame modifications, but we could do her. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you want to see me do with this motor. I'm in no big hurry, so I got all these other projects we need to get done, especially the Turbo 500. I know a lot of you guys, probably most of you guys, are just biting at the bit for me to get started with that. I am going to wait till after the meet and greet ride now that it's almost June and we're pretty much a month away for the meet and greet ride. I don't want to be touring a Mighty Mouse and have it tore apart for that because I want to be able to ride my P5 with all the P5s that come out for that. So we will wait till after the meet and greet ride to start turboing Mighty Mouse. I do have everything ready to go, including the thing I was waiting on the most. Our power commander with the auto tune. So we'll be able to tune Mighty Mouse to work with that turbo. We may go ahead and throw this guy on here as a video before we turbo it. It wouldn't hurt to do that. Maybe eke out just a touch more power before we put the turbo on. But yeah, guys, that was the big find today. So I think that was probably a pretty fair trade for a month's worth of rent. I look forward to seeing what you guys suggest we do with it. And it'll be an interesting project, that's for sure. Hopefully a project that I won't get in trouble with. 
And by getting in trouble, I mean spending some hospital nights because I put it in a buggy and uh, lose control. Ah, we'll be fine. But anyway, we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching this short little video. I just was too excited to not show you guys what we got here. And I wanted you guys' suggestions. So for, for now, I'll say thanks for watching. And until next time, keep on riding.